If y'all don't know me, I go by the name of Quavo. Born, born and raised in the north side of Atlanta, home of the Migos. Um, this city has always been home to me from playing in the streets and, you know, nurturing me and teaching me how to be the man I am standing before you. So, um, I mean, one of these issues that I care about is, is, is resolving the gun violence issue. And you can't understand the struggles of gun violence if you're not in the field or in the heart of it. So one thing I learned about working with Vice President Harris is she always stand on business. From inviting me, from inviting me, what's up, mama? Uh, from inviting me to the White House last year to discuss these solutions to passing, to passing the biggest gun safety laws to date. So it's only right in the birthplace of the culture. It's also the same place to launch the first African American woman to run for president. Yeah, we changing the culture again. So if you never voted before, make sure you get out and vote right now, because it's the real one. And in the words of my brother Takeoff, let me get a come on up. I'm going to hand it over to Tyler the Green. I'm going to hand it over to Tyler the Green, let him talk about his vote, and introduce the next president of the United States of America. Yeah. the next President of the United States of America, Vice President Kamala Harris. Just a second, just a second. to welcome a fellow HBCU alum back to the beautiful city of Atlanta. I first met the Vice President at the White House last year, where I shared my story as a young black entrepreneur. I talked about the challenges that I faced, the importance of investing in entrepreneurs of color, how we can work together to fight the climate change crisis, and the positive impact that the Biden-Harris administration has had on my communities. And it means so much to me to see a vice president leading with the same values of excellence, leadership, and service that our institutions instilled in us. Vice President Harris has spent every day of her career fighting for working people just like me. From her service as a district attorney, attorney general, and the United States Supreme, sorry, the Senate. <laughs> Not yet. To her leadership as Vice President, she has served and spent every day of her career serving and fighting for us, the people. To name just a few of these accomplishments, she's fought for historic investments into HBCUs, She's fought for student debt relief. She's fought for reproductive freedom. She's fought for entrepreneurs and climate leaders like me. And I know 
that when Georgia sends her to the White House again, she will continue to fight for us. There's so much at stake in this election. We know that we can't afford to let Donald Trump and J.D. Vance enact their extreme Project 2025 agenda on our communities and send us to the past. And that's what Trump wants to do. Trump wants to drag us back into the past. But listen, but just listen, we have a champion here with us tonight. And she is going to lead our country into the future. Now, it's my honor to introduce the next President of the United 